I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong, dude. Uh, oh, no. What? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be watching Back to the Future 3. I am really looking forward to this one. I watched the first two and absolutely loved them. They were so fun. Um, and it took me a little bit to get Back to the Future. Um, you guys have been amazing with leaving me so many recommendations. And it has been so hard to pick and choose what to watch next. But it's an incredible problem to have. I have been having a really fun time watching um, these like sci-fi movies and action movies and just like different types of movies than anything I'd ever seen before and Back to the Future is definitely some of the most fun movies I have seen since starting the channel so definitely excited about wrapping up this trilogy. Um, a lot of you guys have let me know in the comments that you think this was like the most amazing trilogy and you absolutely loved like the entire um, three movies together which makes me even more excited to see how this concludes. So let's see I yeah I don't know I, I imagine that it's going to pick up right where we left off last time which was with Doc getting accidentally um sent to the 1800s um so so far we've been traveling back and forth in different time periods all in the 1900s so this is going to be interesting this is like now going into like history history um not just like recent history i guess definitely curious to see what uh adventures you're going to get into and also just how they're going to conclude this because at this point like now we have like multiple versions of the characters and different time periods you know marty's present from like the 1980s we've seen like several versions of it some that's like okay a version that was like amazing when the first back to the future movie ended and a version that was kind of dire which we saw in the last uh back to the future 2 so really curious to see how this how is this going to conclude how are they going to get doc back because they have to get him back somehow they can't just leave him stranded i imagine in the 1800s and then yeah like what is marty's present going to look like when this all ends so super curious super excited i'm going to go ahead and jump in before i do would love to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you would subscribe it really helps me out so so much i really appreciate all of the support that you guys have shown me and yeah i'm excited to jump in so gonna go ahead and just do that okay so saturday 1955 that's where we're starting All right clock tower situation there was that lightning his face so impressed with what just happened we've seen this already I feel like multiple times now i feel like we've seen a version of this in each movie at this point ah! Ah! okay relax not it's me it's me it's martin oh i can't be just sent you back to <laughs> he's like it didn't work i'm back from the future it's Oh no, Doc! Was this Doc's house? I can't remember exactly what it looked like, but... Oh my gosh, she's scaring him in. And there's his hoverboard. How did I do this? It's like I overslept. I saw a vision of Marty say he had come back from the future. Oh. Hey, Doc. Mm. Undoubtedly, this was some sort of a image. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Can't be you. I sent you back to the future. Hey, Doc, that's right, but I came back again. I came back from the future. Don't yeah. you remember last night? You fainted. I brought you home. This can't be happening. Oh, no, he's going to faint again. <laughs> yeah, I refuse to believe that you are here. Doc, I am here, and it does make... Oh. It's a very interesting story, future boy. Uh, but it's just one little thing that doesn't make sense. If the me of the future is... Why am I here now? How could you possibly know about it? He sent me a letter. Mm. Let me assure you that I am alive and well. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. Oh, I forgot it was that long. 
I set myself up as a blacksmith as a front while I attempted to repair the damage to the time circuit. Unfortunately, this proved impossible because suitable replacement parts will not be invented until oh, night. Gosh. Once you have returned to 1985, destroy the... Wait. It's a long story, Doc. I repeat, do not attempt to come back right. here. Right. I thought he would try to go back and get him. Please take care of him. Einstein for me. <laughs> I never knew I could write anything so touchy. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Copernicus. Copernicus. All right, according to this, the time vehicle sealed off in a sight. We may have to blast. Oh. I think you woke up the dead with that blast. <laughs> I want to document everything. Oh. Look at him, Copernicus. Doc, check it out. Look at this. Oh, is that where it is? Oh, there's an arrow. My initials! Goes his, yeah, his initials. I hope they find it. I mean... Yep, there it is. Right? Hope it's it's, yeah, that has to be it. No wonder this circuit failed. It says made in Japan. What do you mean, Doc? All the best stuff is made in Japan. Oh, time periods, right. Different perceptions. It just occurred to me, Marty, since I end up in 1885, perhaps I'm now in the history books. I wonder. Hmm. You're the one that's always saying, you know, it's not good to know too much about your own destiny. Right. Pernicus! Hmm. Come on, boy! I'll get him, Doc. Pernicus! Pernicus! Ooh, what's wrong with Copernicus? What's wrong, Copernicus? Come on. Wait. Come on, let's go. Come on. What? September 7th, 1885? <gasps> What's wrong, Marty? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, no. That's like a couple days away from where... Shot in the back by Buford Tannen over a matter of $80. What? However, this claim cannot be substantiated since precise records were not kept after Tannen shot a newspaper editor who printed an unfavorable story about him in 1884. That's why we can't find anything. Oh. William McFly and family. <gasps> Your relatives? My great-grandfather's name was William. That's him. Good-looking guy. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it was a mistake, Doc. Maybe that grave wasn't yours. It could have been another Emmett Brown back in 1885. Oh, what are the chances? My father changed our name during the First World War. Doc, look. It's me. And it is true. All of it. It is me who goes back oh there. Get shot. Oh, no. Now I'm going back to 1885 and I'm bringing you home. Oh, boy. Haven't you ever seen a Western? What is he going to wear? Oh. Yeah, I have, Doc. Okay. He's going to try to blend in. We can't risk sending you back into a populated area or to a spot that's geographically unknown. You don't want to crash into some tree that once existed in the past. Hmm. And there's a small cave over there which would be a perfect place to hide the time vehicle. Well, the new time circuit can... Wow, this is going to be so interesting. If I drive straight towards the screen, I'm going to crash into those Indians. Marty, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. They'll be gone by then. Good luck for both of our sakes. Yes. See you in the future. You mean the past? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Happy trails, buddy! Happy trails. Ready! Cut! Oh gosh, this better work. <laughs> he is about to crush into them. There he goes. Ooh, getting really close. Oh, what? Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. They're probably like, what on earth is this? Oh, man. Come on. You gotta get out of there. Oh, my God. Is he gonna be able to evade them? Oh boy. Is that a hiding spot? Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow.
That was close. Wait, is there more? What is that? Is that horses? It is. Shit, the cavalry! Oh. This is going to be a challenge. Oh my gosh, I feel like he really sticks out with those colors. Oh gosh, I hope they didn't like damage the time machine. What is happening? Damn, I ripped the fuel line. Oh gosh. Oh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> no! Isn't that like the worst thing you can do? I don't actually know, but I think you're not supposed to turn your back. Oh, Marty. Oh, that looked painful. Maggie! Fetch some what? water. We got a hard spawn here. That kind of looked like Marty. Mom. Mom is. It <gasps> You've been asleep for nearly six hours now. I was being chased by all these. This is so funny. This is like his ancestors. You're safe and sound here now at the McFly farm. And it's always like McFly his farm. <laughs> it's always his mom bringing him back to the reality. Who are you? The name's McFly. Maggie McFly. McFly? Maggie? And that's Mrs. McFly. And don't you be forgetting the missus. Mm. Might your name be, sir? Well, it's Mc... Oh, what is he going to say? Eastwood? Eastwood? <laughs> uh, Clint. Clint Eastwood. You'll be excusing me, Mr. Eastwood, while I tend to William. <gasps> William. Oh, that's okay, William. It's okay. He mentioned William as one of his, like, ancestors. Aye. William Sean McFly, the first of our family to be born in America. Uh, it's okay, Will. Mm -hmm. This here is Mr. Well, Clint Eastwood here. Visit him. Mr. Clint Eastwood. How is it that you came to be way out here? Without a horse. Without a horse or boots. Well, my car horse broke down. <laughs> I hope you find your blacksmith friend. You can stay the night in the barn. I'll take you as far as the railroad tracks. You can follow him straight on into town. Oh gosh, what's happening? I think you'll find the barn comfortable. Never had any complaints about it from the pigs. <laughs> He's gonna sleep with the pigs. A word with you. Uh oh. Is she not as welcoming? Will you hold him for a minute? Oh my gosh, he's holding his like great grandfather or something. The will never takes to strangers. It's almost as if connected to us. They will. I mean, they are. Oh my gosh, how far is he having to walk? At least he has a hat now. Whoa! Oh, that looks neat. Bathhouse. Saturday night. It's gonna be some sort of dance, games, fest or something. Where is Doc? Oh, that looks like the building that has the clock tower. So is this like this is like the center of town that we see in that we've seen in the other ones? It just looks so incredibly different. Yeah! Ah! Ooh. Oh no. That's why he needed his boots. Take a look and see what just breezed in the door. <laughs> They're like, where did this come from? Everyone's <laughs> staring at him. I'll have uh, ice water. <laughs> ice water. Ice. Hey, McFly. Thought I done told you never to come in. You want to change, Miss McFly? You look like a no. Yeah. What's your name, dude? Uh, Mart. 
Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Don't forget your name. <laughs> what kind of stupid name is that? <laughs> Take a gander at them moccasins. What kind of skins is them? Moccasins. Bartender, I'm looking for that no good cheating blacksmith. He's <gasps> oh. No, sir, Mr. Tannen, I have not. Tannen, you mad dog Tannen. Oh, gosh. Everyone's terrified of this guy. Nobody calls me mad dog. Oh, my gosh. He's going to get himself killed. Oh, my God. The moonwalk. <laughs> They're like, wait, what? Shit. Oh, my gosh. This is hilarious. Oh. Oh gosh, is he in more trouble now? What's he gonna do to him? <gasps> no! Oh wow, he got lucky. You better run, squirrel. No. Oh my gosh, he's... they got him. Oh no. Oh, and they're just dragging him across the dirt. Oh no. We got ourselves a new courthouse. High time we had a hanging. What? No. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Are you kidding me? This is not good. Who is this? I'll shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards. Wait. And, then, and it's pointed straight in your head. It's the doc. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the That's horse. That's $80. Isn't that? Yeah. I don't shot that horse. Well, that's your problem, Tannen. That's yours. Oh, man. So from now on. This is how it happens. Doc. Marty. He's like, I told you. But it's good to see you, Marty. Oh. What idiot dressed you in that outfit? You! <laughs> and who's this beloved Clara? I don't know anyone named Clara. I don't know, Doc. Hmm. Do you remember last week at the town meeting when you volunteered to meet the new school teacher at the station when she came in? Oh, yes, quite so. Well, we just got word she's coming in tomorrow. Is that Clara? Oh! Her name's this plate, Clara Clayton. That's Clara. Now we know who Clara is. Yep. God, Jennifer, damn, I hope she's all right, Doc. I can't believe we just left her there on the porch. Right. Put her all the way around. Okay, let's go. Ooh. That scared me. <laughs> what is that? Is that ice? Ice tea? Uh, nice. Oh, listen, Doc, I tore a hole in the gas tank when I was landing, so we're going to have to patch it up and get some gas. Where are they going to get gas from? I mean, it's not like there's gas stations everywhere. Gas station around here until sometime in yeah. the next century. So what do we do? <gasps> oh, man. The fastest horse in the world! Won't run more than 35, 40 miles an hour! Oh, no! Are they... Oh, my gosh. How are they going to get out of here? Bartender says that's the strongest stuff they got. Try it, Marty. Ooh. Give him more gas! Oh! Oh, no. Did something else break? It blew the fuel injection manifold. Strong stuff, all right. It'll take me a month. Great! He doesn't have a month! If we could figure out a way to push it up to 88 miles an hour. How? Huh? Ooh, the train. How fast could she go? Why, I've had her up to 55 myself. 55. The bridge will exist in 1985. It's safe and still in use. Therefore, it's going oh, to be gosh. miles an hour before we hit the edge of the ravine. He, they should have been in a different place by the time they get to the edge. Oh gosh, what's going on over there? 
You know, there's the getting close, but how are they gonna help her? <laughs> oh! Wow, just in time. Thank you, sir. You saved my life. Is this Clara? I'm a brown at your service, Miss. Clara Clayton. Oh gosh, love at first sight. I'll straighten everything out with Mr. Stafford for the buckboard rental. Don't you worry about that. Well, that would be very gentlemanly of you, Mr. Brown. Emmett. <laughs> He's in love. Of course, you'll see lots of me. I'm sure I have a shop in town. I'm a local scientist. He uh, forgot. Uh, blacksmith. Science? That something's about to happen in a few days. What do you mean you can be seeing lots of her? Well, I might see her again just in passing. <laughs> She did have quite a scare, right? After all, Miss Clayton almost ended up at the bottom of Clayton. Yeah. Shit, hey, Doc. Clayton Ravine was named after a teacher. They say she fell in there <gasps> 100 years ago. Oh, gosh. That's this here. Every kid in school knows that story. Wait, so he disrupted something else. I may have seriously altered history. Uh-oh. Up to the door, yeah! Oh gosh, I hope this works. It couldn't be simpler. Yeah, but oh gosh, Clara, she's gonna complicate things. I feel it's Clara! Mm. Quick! Come with the lawyer! Oh, she just came in. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to dedicate this clock to the people of Hill County. May it stand for all time. The brand new clock that's going to break. <laughs> Let the festivities begin. Mm. Didn't he have a picture next to that clock? Too bad I didn't bring my camera. Oh. Well, there's a camera. Smile, Doc. <sighs> uh, now. Oh, there she is. Mm, is he gonna ask her to dance? Let's see his dance moves. Boy. Dance. <laughs> Apparently. Listen, can I try that again? <laughs> yeah, <go on. laughs> wow. Tell me one thing. Where'd you learn to shoot like this? 7 Eleven. Uh, he's like, wait, what? what talking about? Oh gosh, here are these guys. You gentlemen will have to check your firearms if you want to join in on the festivity. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna make us stand foot? You? I am. Who is this? And maintain discipline at all times. Remember that word, discipline. Is this the guy that was in the high school when Marty was in the other time periods? <laughs> He is having a blast. Hey, come on. Give me that. <laughs> there he is, Buford. Where? Oh, man. Ooh. Last time I used it, fella, took two whole days to die. Bled to death inside. It was real. <laughs> real pain. That means you'll be dead by about supper time month. Oh, gosh. What? All right. No, no, Emmett, I'll dance with him, Emmett. Boys, I'll dance keep with the him. blacksmith company while I get acquainted with the Billy! Oh, gosh. No, Smithy. Maybe I'll just take my $80 worth out of her. Oh, no. I believe you've underestimated me, mister. Why have I? Oh! Oh, <gasps> oh no. Damn you, Tannen! No, I damn you. No. Oh, the frisbee. Oh. Look, just leave my friends alone. Oh, what's wrong, dude? You yellow? Nobody calls me yellow. <laughs> what? Like I said, we'll finish this tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow we're robbing the Pan City stage. Oh, yeah. Uh, schedule conflict. Any brawling? It's 15 days in the county jail. All right, folks, come on. This is a party. Come on, let's have some fun. Everyone's like back to dancing like nothing happened. 
Hey, Doc, Doc, don't worry about it. Monday morning, 8 a.m., we're going to be gone, right? Theoretically, yes, but what if the train's late? Oh. The gun that shot Buford Tannen was a Colt Peacemaker. Hey, hey, no problem. Thanks a lot. Of course, uh, you understand that if you lose, I'm taking it back. <laughs> Roy into playing his game, his way, play his rules. Seamus, relax. I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never consider the future, poor Martin. God rest his soul. Sure, and I hope you're considering the future, Mr. Eastwood. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That one's called Copernicus. Like his dog in the 50s. Emmett, do you think we'll ever be able to travel to the moon the way we <gasps> travel across the country on trains? Definitely. Although not for another 84 years. <laughs> you, you're quoting Jules Verne from oh. The Earth to the Moon. You've read. Oh, look at these have so much in common. Met a woman who liked Jules Friend. I mean, it's only been published for 10 years, so. <laughs> I was going to say old habits, but it's actually future habits with having all the clocks automatically coordinating things in the morning. Isn't that how the first one started? First movie of Back to the Future? Did Doc ever make it back? Doc. What? Is he still with Clara? Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> Practicing just in case. Say good morning, Mr. Eastwood. Good morning. Everyone knows him now. Good morning, Mr. Eastwood. Interest you in a new suit for tomorrow? Oh my gosh. Look at that, the tombstone. All right, let me see that phone back again. Is that supposed to be his tombstone? Name, it's vanished. Hey, that's Ooh. great, Doc. Don't you get it? We're going back to the future tomorrow, so everything's being erased. But only my name is erased. The tombstone itself and the date still remain. That doesn't make sense. So someone still dies that day? Oh, look, pal, I don't want to buy a suit. <laughs> no, this is for your coffin. What? Well, the odds are running two to one against you. Might as well be prepared. So, may not be my name that's supposed to... <gasps> Marty's? What about my future? I can't tell you. It might make things worse. Wait a minute, Doc. Oh, gosh. Gotta do what you've gotta do. And I've gotta do what I've gotta do. Oh, no. I would be wondering what he knows. I've made a decision. Huh? I'm not going with you tomorrow. What? I'm staying here. Oh, gosh. Clara. There's no point in denying it. I'm in love with Clara. Oh. Uh... This tombstone could still be in your future. Marty, the future isn't written. It can be changed. You know that. <sighs> Anyone can make their future. What... Mm. What's the right thing to do up here? Hmm. This is tricky. Think about it. What are you going to say to him? Yeah, exactly. He's not going to understand that, Doc. Hell, I'm in it with you, and I don't even understand it. <laughs> right. I don't know. Maybe we can just take Clara with us. Ooh, there's an idea. I'm a scientist, so I must be scientific about this. I caution you about disrupting the continuum for your own personal benefit. Therefore, I must do no less. However, she was supposed to die. As soon as we return to 1985, we'll like, destroy this infernal machine. He already interrupted, like, her destiny. Aw, well, at least he has this to remember her by. It's not going to be enough. He's going to have to go say bye to her. Won't you come in? No, I better not. I've come to say goodbye. Hmm... I want you to know that I care about you deeply, but I realize that I don't belong here, and I have to go back where I came from. Oh. Wherever you go and take me with you. Yeah, see, she wants to go too. I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that I invented, and tomorrow I have to go back to the year 1985. I wonder if this is going to want to make her go even more i understand because you know i'm partial <gasps> to the writings of jules verne you concocted those mendacities in order to take advantage of me oh i've heard some whoppers in my day but the fact that you'd expect me to entertain a notion like that is so <laughs> insulting and degrading oh no 
And I don't want to see you anymore. That at least would have been respectful. Oh. But that's not the truth. I mean, yeah, I can imagine like if someone broke up with me saying I'm breaking up with you because I'm from the future, I might be like having her reaction. Emma, are you sure you know what happened to you on the 4th of July? <gasps> what happened to him? Just don't want to see you do the wrong thing. What did he do on the 4th of July? There was one in a million. One in a billion. Oh. I can assure you, sir, there are other women. But you never know what the future might bring. I mean, he has an idea. <laughs> oh gosh, please don't tell me that Doc is still, like, drunk somewhere. What time is it, Doc? Oh, he's not there. And in the future, we don't need horses. <sighs> We have motorized carriages called automobiles. <laughs> Does anybody walk or run anymore? Of course we run, but for recreation, for fun. <sighs> Doc! Doc! Oh no. This is not good. I've lost her, Marty. There's nothing left for me here. Okay then. All right, that's why you gotta come. Exactly. <laughs> Back to the future. Gentlemen, excuse me, but my friend and I have to catch a train. Here's to you, Blacksmith. <laughs> and to the future. Mm -hmm, and to the future. Damn it, no! What's going to happen to him? Oh, gosh. Oh! There's a fella that can't hold his liquor. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, he's running out of time. How far does the 8 o'clock train go? Well, San Francisco is the end of the line. I'll take a one-way ticket. She's not going to try to take the same train, is she? That's going to get hijacked? In about 10 minutes, he's going to be as sober as a priest on Sunday. 10 minutes. Why do we have to cut these things so damn close? Yes! Ooh! Woke him up. Oh man. I think this is the same train, right? Well, something inside me told me I should be here. As if my future had something to do with it. What? Come on, Doc. Let's go, Doc. Let's wake up now, buddy. Come on. Oh gosh, you're these guys. Are you an Aries one? It's not eight o'clock yet. Let's settle this once and for all, right? Right, you got the gumps. <gasps> oh no, that's not good. I'm not really feeling up to this today. Is this gonna work? Forfeit! What's that mean? <laughs> it means that you win without a fight. You can't do that. Hey, you can't do that. I think you ain't nothing but a gutless yellow turd. Oh gosh. Seven! <laughs> What's the next one? Oh gosh, I don't like this. I already got a gun. Nine! Ten! How is he gonna get out of this situation? He's an asshole. I don't care what Tannen says. Ooh. Listen, you got a back door to this place? Yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> hey! Oh! Oh gosh. Oh, the train! That poor fella last night had the worst case of broken heart I have ever seen. And he said he didn't know how he could live the rest of his life, knowing how much hurt he'd caused that little girl. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Forget about me, Marty, and save yourself! <sighs> I've never seen a man so broken up over a woman. What did you say her name was? Kara? Sarah? Clara? Mm-hmm. Oh. Time's up, run. Is she going to save him somehow? This, oh gosh. I mean, he just practiced in front of the mirror. I don't know if that was enough. Although he was pretty good when he was in that fair, but. I thought we could settle this like men. You thought wrong, dude. Uh, oh no. What? 
Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh no. He couldn't. Oh, he faked it. <gasps> what does he have under there? <laughs> what? Wow, that was clever. when they broke the tombstone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is like when Biff ended up with like manure on him. It's like there's a version of this guy that ends up like that somehow. You're under arrest for robbing the Pine City stage. You got anything to say? Ooh. Ew. I hate manure. <laughs> it's gone. Yes. Amazing. Here's your gun, mister. Thanks, kid. <laughs> James. It's worth $12. Never been used. Maybe I'll trade it for a new hat. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, so she's going to probably figure out what they're trying to do, like their plan right now. Oh gosh, they're getting so close. Okay, so they made it onto the train. Step one, there she goes. Is she going to catch up to them? So they need to get to the front of this, right? Because it has to like disconnect from some of the other cars, I think. Okay, they made it to the front. Is this a hold up? It's a science! <laughs> Stop the train sure. just before you hit the switch track up ahead! All right, so far it's going according to plan. I wanted to do that all the <laughs> I'm like, what's the need? But okay, yeah, fulfilling a dream. I keep thinking about Claire. To press wood with anthracite dust, chemical they treat it to burn harder and longer. I use them in my force so I don't have to stoke it. Kick up the boiler pressure and make the train go faster. Oh, here she is. Yeah. That's her signal. <laughs> but how's that gonna... He needs to figure out how to get into the DeLorean. Oh, she's so close. Marty, the new gauge on the dashboard will tell us the boiler temperature. Each detonation will be accompanied by a sudden burst of acceleration. Oh, she's gonna end up losing them. But she's so close. Get foot past 2000. What happens after it hits 2000? A whole boiler explodes. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Oh, Clara. He's like, I'm hearing things. Oh. Oh! We just passed 40, Doc! Alright, really need him, Doc, to get into the DeLorean! Oh! And also, Clara! Either she travels in time with them, or she's gonna fall off this cliff. Or the bridge, rather. This is tricky. Okay. Oh my god, this is scary. Wait, she's <laughs> Oh gosh. They don't have much time. She's on the train! Perfect. Yeah! Oh gosh. Time out here to me! You can do it! Just don't look down! 
Oh my gosh, is she gonna make it to the future? God, the red one's about to blow! Oh god. Oh my god, she's like hanging off. Oh my gosh. Stop, I'm gonna slip you the hoverboard! Alright, let's see if this. Oh! Ooh! Yes, yes. Okay. This is way too close. Way too close. Okay, quick! Oh my gosh, get in there! What? Wow, there goes the train. Wow. Oh my, that's quite the explosion. But I need to know where everyone ended up. Okay, so I know for sure Marty's in here, but what about Eastwood Ravine? What? Hill Valley's newest homes. <laughs> it's like that, they're like, that is not a train. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, where is. Oh no! Oh no! What? Okay, now the time machine is completely destroyed. No more time travel. Wow. I can't believe this. Like, where did the doc and Clara end up? Well, doc, it's destroyed. And that's what he wanted. Just like you want it. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what the neighborhood's looking like. Hey, butthead, get away! Oh! You're going cowboy, huh? Come on, guys! We're gonna be late for brunch! Marty, what's wrong? We thought you went to the lake. You wore that to the lake? Uh, I really like that hat, Marty! Thanks, Biff. Oh, look, there she is! Isn't this where he had left her? In, like, Jennifer. I don't know what year? <laughs> the doc said she was okay. Mm. Marty, I had the worst nightmare. <laughs> it's about the future, about us. And you got fired. Wait a minute, what do you mean I got fired? Oh, yeah, via the Zoom call. Marty, it was a dream. Oh, gosh. You're fired? Wait, it's gone. You're right, there's not much left. Mm-hmm. Doc's never coming back. Oh, look. That's like the original picture without Marty in it. What the hell? <gasps> what? <laughs> he found another way. Wow. Is this a new time machine? <laughs> Marty! Ah! Wow. And there she is. <gasps> These are our boys. What? Juice and Vern. Of course, that's what they named them. Boys, this is Marty and Jennifer. Aww, there's the donkey. Doc, I thought I'd never see you again. You can't keep a good tie to stone. What? It's great, Doc. Thanks. Aww. I brought this note back from the future and now it's erased. It means your future hasn't been written yet. Your future is whatever you make it. So make it a good one. We will, Doc. Aww. Is Doc going to stay or is he going to... Where are they going? Or when are they going? Hey, Doc. Where are you going now? Yeah. Back to the future? Nope. Already been there. Mm hmm. They're gonna make it fly. <laughs>
where is he taking the family? Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, I loved that. I'm sad it's over. Um, That was so much fun. All three of these movies were so much fun. I loved them. This one was so interesting because this one did not make me as I mentioned. I think I think I did. I mentioned in the last uh, movie that I felt like I was dizzy by the end because there was so much traveling to different time periods. And in this one, we were mostly in the 1800s and I loved it. I thought it was so interesting to see like, I don't know, Doc falling in love. Like what? I thought that was the cutest thing ever. And and I was worried about Clara. I feel like he found his soulmate in her because she is a smart cookie. She gets like his crazy ideas. It's like they speak the same love language. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. And I thought it was neat how like she was able to figure out like what they were actually doing in the end with the model and and then find them. That was really cool. So I don't think there's any more of these, but I feel like it kind of still left it on a bit of a cliffhanger right like where is doc headed to with his wife clara and their kids one thing i thought of was like i'm like i wonder if they're going to like space or something because they had talked about that and she was like so into like you know her telescope and learning all about that and she was even like are we ever gonna travel to space one day so i don't know that would be interesting and i you know one of the questions i had going in was because I, I suspected that at some point marty was gonna find his way back into his present which i'm assuming is still the 80s and i was curious to see like what which present which version of that present in the 80s was he going to end up in at the end like where he started out at the very beginning of the first movie or like yeah or any of the other versions we saw since then and I th th thought that was neat that he ended up in the version where his dad is confident and his family seems like they have a good life and that was awesome I loved that I also thought it was interesting how I didn't expect that when he ended up when Marty went to the 1880 1885 i didn't expect to see like the exact same spot and the like pretty much like similar you know characters um in other time periods like clearly that uh what, what was his name tannin that was biff basically and then though mayor was like the equivalent of the uh, i don't remember what his name was but the guy at the school that was like would always give marty's dad a hard time and then marty a hard time that was him right and then who else? I feel like there was like probably other people. Like, I mean, obviously his mom was, you know, an Irish version of herself, I guess. And um, her husband who looked exactly like him suspiciously. And then that was cute that like William, who was her baby, was his soon. Well, not soon to be, but at some point going to be his great grandfather. But yeah, I think that's one thing that I thought was like interesting about all three of these movies, how they like showed these characters and like the different time periods and like. Like sometimes it would be, you know, an ancestor or yeah, I don't know, some somebody that was like somehow related to somebody else in like the family tree. So that was, you know, I also thought like, you know, it was kind of similar in that, you know, he ends up in the town and there's like the saloon, which is kind of like when he would end up at like the diner looking place and where like everyone hung out. And then there was also obviously the clock tower, which was just under construction in the 1880s. 80s. And then I I feel like did this happen? And I think this happened in like all three movies, or at least it happened in the first and the last where he like arrives there, falls asleep and he wakes up and it's his mom who's not actually his mom at this point because he's in a different time period. And he always thinks he's dreaming. But I thought that was like neat how we saw that again in this one. But even though there were like all, you know, those like similarities, I still felt like this was so original. Yeah. And I don't know. I loved it. It was so good so much fun you guys I'm sad that there aren't any more of these right unless correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think there's any more of these like the story kind of just ended for us but it's fun to think about like I wonder what happened afterwards but anyway let me know what did you guys think of these like 
What was your favorite one out of the three? I feel like it's it's tough. I don't know. I I I couldn't decide. Like I really enjoyed the first two. I know. No, I can't because I mean I I feel like this completed it. Like and it's so funny because a few of you said something like that that like it was the great like uh like perfect three movies that kind of complemented each other and like told the story nicely from like start to finish. And I feel like yeah, like the whole story that we saw at least wouldn't be complete without each of these three. Like yeah, they were great. I loved them. Let me know what you guys thought of the third one. And yeah, can you even rank them? I can't. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any other recommendations. This was a lot of fun for me. Um, yeah, it was great. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any other recommendations. I have a huge watch list and I love adding more movies to it because so far none of your recommendations have failed. They've all been amazing. So thank you so much for that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing another reaction with you guys and in order to do that i would love it if you subscribe to the channel so we can continue watching these reactions together if you haven't subscribed yet it really helps me out so much and yeah i appreciate all of your support so thank you for that and i'll see you guys in the next one bye